Hey folks, this is IOE Throw, and we're back with some more Reddit. Oops, we should scroll all the way to the top of Had to Hurt. So this is a subreddit that's all about things that went wrong, and, you know, somebody's got injured. So there is going to be some graphic violence. Uh, I'm going to hopefully skip or edit out anything that's, like, really bad and not safe for work. But if, you know, <laughs> maybe little kids shouldn't be watching in this particular one kind of thing. So we're just going to scroll down to... Okay, well, attempting a muscle-up and nearly killing himself. I hope that that's not what actually happened. I don't really want to see somebody die. Thanks, though. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh! Good job. Well, at least he had help immediately. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I was so afraid he was going to drop these on his head. Um, because I have no idea about, you know, gym terms, so muscle up doesn't mean anything to me. But I was so afraid he was going to pick these up and then, sm you know, drop them on his head. No, he instead he jumps for the the circles and, um, didn't quite make it the, the way he went. I'm sure he was then trying to, you know, swing himself up. And, uh, instead all he did was throw himself off. I have to wonder if he chalked his hands beforehand. Or if, or if, like, he was just sweating so badly, or if, like, that's the reason he fell off, or if it's just that he has no grip strength. I mean, because it looks like he had muscle. Oh, well. Apparently this is an oldie but a goodie. Oh, it's moving. Oh, as they straighten his leg, his kneecap moves back in place. Oh, that's. <laughs> I don't know how much that hurt. I mean, I guess it probably hurt a lot, but I think more getting his kneecap shoved out of the way it would hurt more. Dislocated kneecap. Oh lord, getting pummeled. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, congrats to the guy for still being on his feet after all this. I'm pretty sure after that second blow, I'd be on the ground crying. Um, but this guy just kind of kept walking, and it looks like he's still standing after all that. Good lord. Okay, not. <laughs> wow. Look at those blows, though. Like, I mean. You can see it deforming the flesh around around the guy as he gets smacked in the face. Wow. Wait, what? Dude in Pompeii took one to the face. So I'm going to guess we're going to see the remains of somebody uh, from Pompeii, like this, the skeleton that was preserved in ash kind of thing, with no head, I assume. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much what that was. Um, most likely what happened, of course, is the fact that he died, and then the, the stone fell where he was. I highly doubt the stone took him out. I think it just crushed his skull after the fact. Um, but yeah, like, the Pompeii stuff is pretty cool because um, the ash has formed around where people were and so they could actually open up little um, patches like little holes in that cavity and then pour molds in and create molds of what the people were doing at like I mean what positions they died in so you can have really accurate recreations of the city just after the volcano exploded, which to me is just like the coolest thing ever, and I definitely need to visit it one day, but yeah. Somehow I don't think he actually took a stone to the head. 
Though it does look a lot like somebody threw a giant stone block and just like one to the face. Yeah. Hey, look, and this, this is another MMA one. I wonder how many of these we're going to get today. <laughs> say, hello, say hello to my little shin. Okay. What? 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 Wait. What? So he kicks the guy and breaks his leg. Shin to shin. This guy's bones are so strong. <laughs> this guy shatters his leg on it. Um. So, what do you eat for the morning breakfast, sir? And, um. How much iron do you like? So, are you just like gnawing on bars of iron here, or or do you have a special regiment that we could have? Because I'd love to know how to get un indestructible bones. Holy crap! <laughs> that was wow. Graphic injury. We're gonna skip that. It's interesting that this down here did not have graphic injury on it. Yeah. If you guys want to come to Sebret, you can see that for yourself. Um, graphic is definitely how it had described that, but not like, not like you know somebody getting their guts torn out. Uh, that particular one down here, by the way, is somebody getting themselves branded on purpose. Uh, like they sat there and and told somebody to brand them. And no, <laughs> I'm cool. Never seen that again. Thanks, bro. You grabbed the wrong block, so I'm gonna guess that it's um, wrestling, and instead of grabbing the correct item, the guy got grabbed the real one. Yeah, and instead of hitting him with a foam block, he hit him with a cement. Block and knocked him out. Yep. He is done. What? I wonder how. How does this guy not notice that this is. A real, a real block versus a foam one. Because, I mean... It's so heavy. Unless they weighted... The, the foam one? Like, I mean... If they had some sort of... Um, Semi-malleable foam... that And they put, like, lead on the inside... Like, you know, a coral lead kind of thing... Then you could throw it at somebody... It would be weighted correctly and you could throw it at somebody and it, it would still impact them with a lot of force but the malleable ability of the foam would absorb enough of the impact that it probably wouldn't hurt them it would just like you know bruise them kind of thing but um this is definitely a cement block that you just brain that guy with right okay then don't run with spoons in your mouth, kid. Oh. I'm not certain I want to click on this, because... Running with spoons in your mouth... It's never going to end well. Assuming you stop running, because you fell. Ah, that's what happened. Yeah. You got lucky that that didn't just, you know, hurt you in some really, really badly way. But this is pretty pretty good. It's like, yeah. Don't, don't do that. That sucked. Now we're getting into the final six. 
I fell 15 feet and broke, broke 16 bones. This is kind of like a train wreck. I know I shouldn't look. Oh, it's just a picture. Okay, so construction equipment. Um, I don't know what that is. Was that a saw? Yeah, that's a supportable saw, hand saw, like circling saw. Uh, tool belt s s harness. Wait, he had a harness on? How did you fall if you had a harness on? That's what that is, right? Somebody who knows the, the construction business can <laughs> tell me. Dude, you were working on a roof or some sort of second story structure. With in in like construction and you have a busted finger already. Good Lord. I don't I don't understand. I would like a little bit more backstory to that, but obviously we ain't gonna get it, so oh well. That definitely had to hurt. You can see the blood. It also looks like there's a story to this, so when you glue razors under the handles, you tend to catch thieves red handed. <gasps> oh 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 that mmm. I I really don't like anything to do with my hands getting injured. So th just the thought of that makes me... Oh, <laughs> I mean... Wow. So then, how do you pick it up? I guess from the sides and the bottom. Oh. Lord, I, I mean... Obviously, I agree that, you know, if it's not yours, don't pick it up. But, um, man, I guess if you walk around and see somebody trying to bandage their hands after, you know, who, who the thieves are. But, oh, Lord, that, yeah, you just, uh, whatever you do, don't send your friend to pick up the cooler, right? Good Lord. Okay. And now, the top four for the last year, I fell on my first run of the day. Oh, first... Wait, what? Are you skiing in that? And you fell and just messed yourself up. Last time I saw road rash like that, by the way, was when my brother took a header over his bike handles when we were like 10, and he, we were on a gravel road, and um, he, he went over the handlebars, and he was going at a decent enough speed that he skidded along the, the, the gravel and asphalt part of the road. Yeah, it went through his shirt and then did that to his back. So, I guess you're glad you did that on snow. Because if you'd done that on anything worse than snow, there wouldn't be muscle left. Or there wouldn't be skin left, anyway. Um, but, good lord. Why don't you have a shirt on? A real shirt, not just this piece of thing. Or a jacket. Because, like, if you had a jacket on, there wouldn't be a store here. Though, I guess, maybe for karma sake, internet, fake internet points, that, you know, you're happy. Good lord. Robot, or factory robot malfunctions and impales worker with 10 foot long steel spikes. Wait, spikes? Is it more than one? Um, 
The robot uprising has started. Whoa! Oh, up. Okay, it's no longer here. We'll take that. As I went to click on it, I saw graphic injury, and I tried to abort my click, but no, my muscles that are I've been like, no, we're clicking on this one. But uh, thankfully, I don't have to worry about that because, yeah. Number one rule of the marathon, wear nipple tape. Oh, yeah. Because the shirt will chafe up against you and you'll bleed. Yeah. And the tape will stop the chafing. Oh, Lord, that's got to suck. I mean, if he's any sort of runner that's run marathons before, he'd know that. So, he just forgot that day. Oh, and then, like, he gets to, I mean, obviously he's serious enough, he's going to finish the race. He gets to the end, and he's just like, you know what? Never again. Never again man, am I ever getting the nipple tape here. Mm-hmm. And, in a truly Canadian way, we have took a hockey stick to the face, suffer wait, suffered a severed opposite nerve and lost an eyesight of my right eye permanently. Ow. Yeah. Truly Canadian as it is. Oh. I am sorry, dude. That sucks. Um, though, from my own personal vault of hockey-related horror stories, I can tell you that my dad has come into the house on three separate occasions with his face sheeted in blood after coming home from a pickup hockey game, which he used to do every week. Um, on three separate occasions, he came home from those hockey games. And just sh sheets of blood over his face. And it was because he, he, on each different time, he got hit in the head with a hockey puck. And there was only one place my dad ever got hit with a hockey puck. And it was right here. I don't know how he always managed to ca catch the puck in that particular place. But each of the three times he got hit in the head with a hockey puck, that's where he got hit. And I'm pretty sure he played the rest of the game out because <laughs> of the amount of blood that was on his face. Um, and how obsessed my dad is with playing hockey. Um, but I'm, I'm glad he never suffered an injury like that, but good lord. <sighs> and no, no, we couldn't talk dad into wearing a face mask either. No matter how much we asked him to. He kept telling us it would obscure his vision. And he was a defenseman. He needed to see where that puck was. Because that's the only way he could throw himself in front of it. Oh, Lord. I love my dad, but he's... He'd be crazy about hockey. And, yeah. That sucks, though. I'm a little bit, like... Other folks have gotten gold for stuff, but, you know, losing your the eyesight, that is not enough to get you gold, apparently. Huh? Quirks of life. Alright, okay, so we're going to wrap it up here, because we're way over time. But thank you all for watching, um, and I'm going to see about editing this down, I think. So that it's not massively long, but we'll see about that. In the meantime... Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This is IOE Throughout.